Hi and welcome to this short video showing you how to use the iRemote for FTR iPad app with FTR products. So what FTR products do we support? Well, this has been tested with the FTR Reporter 3.x and 5.x, FTR Hearings 3.x and 5.x and FTR Interrogator 4.x. We also expect it to operate with the FTR Touch Unit. Also coming very soon will be an iPad app to companion this iPhone app. OK, so to get started we're going to show you the iRemote for FTR being used on the iPhone. First go download the app, install it on your iPhone. Click on the icon and the app opens. A couple of things straight off. You've got your IP address and your port number. You need to know those both. You've also got the query record button. Click on that and you get a message from the recorder to say it's connected. Now you can press start, a couple of things happen, the time comes on, get confirmation and then you press stop and the stop recording confirmation happens. As you can see it's very simple, press start, press stop. Next thing you need to do is just be aware that you can type in the IP address, click in the IP address button, a box and type in the IP address and your port number. You do need to know these two and they're best found by watching the setup guide. Press the little I button at the top, it gives you a quick outline of how to go and configure your FTR reporter and how to configure this screen. Press back to go back. That's about it. As I said, follow the user guides, follow the rest of this video to see this being used with Windows XP and Windows 7. OK, next we're going to show you the iRemote for FDR being used for Windows XP. Please watch the setup guide to understand how to set up your reporter before performing any of the actions with reporting Unix. OK, so we start the FDR hearings here we're using on XP. Open up uh, the big window for the clock and now in the side picture in picture you'll see the iPhone app starting and stopping the recorder. It's that simple. Um, press the stop, clock stops, press the start, clock starts. They are independently mutual, so for any reason if you were to stop or start the recorder on the hearings, as shown there, it will then show up on the phone, and then you can stop from the phone. And vice versa, you can start from the phone and stop on the hearings. If you do need to do that, you can press the query screen just to get an update. And that's it being used for XP. OK, next we're going to show the iRemote for FTR working with Windows 7, in this case with Reporter 5.4. OK, so um, again, we're going to have the picture in picture down the bottom there to show you the phone being used in conjunction with the screen capture above. And uh, just as before, press the start button, the clock comes on. Let's just open up that, that large uh, recording window. Show that actually operating. So we press stop and the clock stops. And um, again, you can do that back and forth. Now, be aware, obviously, uh, this works over the web. It works over 3GS. Once your reporter is open on that port and has connectivity via IP you can use this app from anywhere and I have tested this with a reporter halfway around the world from Australia to America so we know it works and it's all working um, from the iPhone the iPad apps coming next thanks for watching uh, feedback to the website please